Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we got another unboxing here. I'm gonna be unboxing this Spigen case that I found on Amazon. This is the, check it out. If I can get this stuff focus. The Zero One. So this is the Zero One. This is a MagSafe compatible, MagFit, designed for MagSafe. MagSafe compatible case for the iPhone 14 Pro. I believe they do have for the 14 Pro Max and the regular 14s, but I, since I have a 14 Pro, I went ahead and grabbed this one. Really quick uh, backstory as to why I got this one, although I already got this case, is I am a kind of a dummy and I bought this case uh, for the iPhone 14 Pro, not knowing that it's not MagSafe compatible. Since this is my first MagSafe uh, phone, so I bought this case right here. It is the liquid air case. Super, super dope case. Super thin, very minimal uh, bulkness on the phone, but it doesn't have MagSafe. So smart guy in me or dummy in me, whatever, however way you look at it, went ahead and bought these little rings that you buy on Amazon. And by the way, I will link up all of these uh, products in uh, my description, just in case you want to pick that up. But these little rings right here cost about 10 bucks. This case I think was about 15 bucks. And what these rings do is you slap it on, on the back of a phone or a case uh, and it makes it MagSafe uh, compatible. Since the 14 Pro is already MagSafe compatible, this does work. Let me just go ahead and show you. You connect it, boom, it starts charging. It shows you right there that it's charging the actual phone. So let's go ahead and disconnect. And I will be testing out the uh, MagSafe compatibility on this case itself. So uh, long story short, which this is not a short <laughs> story. I kind of uh, went on in a little ramble there, but I was basically looking at these uh, MagSafe compatible cases and really nothing caught my eye. They were like clear uh, anti-yellowing one. I was like, okay, cool, cool. These are actually 25 bucks by the way on Amazon. And the last model, you know how you can switch through the models. I saw this uh, design right here and I thought this was actually pretty damn cool. The back of the case is kind of like what's it, what it's like inside of the iPhone 14 Pro. So it kind of looks like one of those D-Brand skins. I love D-Brand, by the way. If you want to sponsor me, D-Brand, hit me up, please. I love you guys. All right, so uh, I went ahead and, uh, and purchased this one since it does have the little ring and it does have a little cool design. This is the Ultra Hybrid. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit more... Uh, bulkier than this one, but hopefully not too bulkier because I don't like bulky cases. So with that backstory out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox this. Now, you don't get anything too crazy with these Spigen cases. They're very minimal presentation, but I mean, it's a case. You're just, you're paying for the case. You're not, as the car passes by <laughs> the front of my house, but you're not paying for the, uh, any presentations or anything like that. So you do get this, uh, let's go ahead and toss that to the side. You get this little this little manual right here, just uh, giving you a heads up on all the products that they have and MagSafe uh, com compatibility. And here is the case itself. I can tell right away it is probably a little bit thicker than this one right here, but it's actually a pretty cool design as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and take out the little case in the front. All right, for you ASMR. For all you ASMR junkies, we get another one back here. Oh, wow. Wow, that's so cool. All right, so there's the case. I think the design is super cool, super dope, right? So you do get the ring right there. So no need for an additional ring like this one. And actually let's put the phone first and see if it if it's compatible. So let me go ahead and undress this bad boy. As you can see, I do like this case as well. It's got this technology inside that's supposed to help with falls and stuff like that. But liquid air, let's go ahead and compare really quick not sure if you'll be able to tell. Now this is the hybrid liquid air. 
Mm, it kind of looks the same. This might be slightly thinner and way about the same. So obviously this is not MagSafe. Let's go ahead and toss that to the side and then let's go ahead and dress her up in her new case. All right, that is an awesome fit. The case looks amazing. Check that out, guys. Wow. That is a good looking, it might be a good opportunity for a thumbnail, right? How about that right there? Wow. That is a good looking case right there. If I, day, if I do, if I day say so myself. All right, if I do say so myself, that is a good looking case. Now, as far as grip, uh, this is rubber or plastic. I'm not sure what the hell it is, um, but it's not bending. This one kind of bend, bend very easily. It's kind of flimsy as well as uh, it does protect, but it's kind of flimsy. This one is a little bit more sturdy. It doesn't bend, which I kind of like. I kind of like, man, I can't get over the way that looks. That looks so good, especially on this black, uh, midnight black iPhone 14. That looks amazing. All right. So the moment of truth, um, does it connect to my battery charger? I don't have a MagSafe charger, so I won't be able to test that out for you guys, but, uh, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that if it, uh, if it works with this one, then it will work with a MagSafe charger, but let's go ahead and a uh, moment of truth. See if it works. Drum roll, please. Oh, that's a satisfying snap. And it is charging, guys. Check it out. Shows you right there. Charging. I'm at 57%. It is charging and it is on there. Little shake test to see if it's coming off. Pretty strong man magnets. Uh magnet. Pretty strong magnets. If I do say so myself, I don't know if this is this or if it's the actual case, but that's not coming off. That is a good case right there. Wow. And this is a really good battery pa uh, pack that you can put onto your phone right there to give it some extra juice. I've been using that a lot lately. And oh, I turned on the flashlight right there by mistake. Let's go ahead and turn that off. But so far, so good. I am loving the way this looks. It actually feels really good and it makes the phone less slippery because if you use the phone without a case, it's kind of slippery a little bit. The back is a little slippery. This has excellent grip. I feel like I'm never going to drop this phone. I don't want to jinx myself, but <laughs> I feel like I'm never going to drop this phone. But that uh, it does have some really good grip in the back. And that's what uh, makes it worth it right there, as, as well as the looks. Let's check it out. I will be periodically using this case as well. I'll switch it up, but man, this is my new daily driver. Like I said, I paid $25 for this on Amazon. I'll throw the link in the description if you guys are interested, but this is a super dope case. It's probably my favorite case right now uh, that I've seen. And if you guys got any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to answer uh, any questions that you guys might have, any legitimate questions you guys might have. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking this video, and all that YouTube good stuff. I will see you guys in the next one. Before I go, check out right there. That might be a video that you're looking to uh, look on my channel, and you can actually subscribe right there. All of that YouTube good stuff. See you guys in the next one. Peace.